Hey there, Deep Inspiration Hub here. So today I'm coming to you with a new video on how to set up the Ata Edge. So I was fortunate enough to be part of the first sale. Thanks a lot to those who use my referral code to sign up. You guys made this possible for me. And as I promised, here's a guide for you to set up the device. So the Edge itself is a pretty cute device. It gets delivered in one box which contains the device itself, an adapter unit, a cable to power the adapter and a standard RJ45 Ethernet cable. So on the front of the device, you have an LED screen which you can't see when the device is powered off. Basically, this LED screen tells you what the state of the device has been in a praying mode or been it's working. And then below the LED screen is where you have the Ata Edge logo. And below the Ata Edge logo, you have the power button. Now at the rear of the device, there are four things that you see. So the first thing that you see is the reset button, which is basically a hole, a tiny hole that you probably can put in a pin if you want to reset the device. And then Below the reset button, there is a USB port where you can probably connect a USB. I do not know exactly what this USB function would be, whether it would be to perform some updates on the device to hard resets or something like that. And then below the USB port, you have the Ethernet port where you're going to connect the device to an Ethernet or to a LAN if you don't want to use the Wi Fi connection. And then finally, below the Ethernet port, you have the power port where you can connect the adapter to power on the device. Now, the HR8 team provided a guide on how you can set up the device. This comes in three major steps. In the first, step you basically connect the power cable to the power adapter and then connect the power adapter to the device now in the second step is where you're going to set up the device using the software app so what i mentioned is that you can download the ata edge app on an ios or on an android device so as of the time that i was setting up my device at least i could not download or i could not find the application on the app store i do not know i do not have an iphone so i cannot confirm per se if the app is available on the ios but what i can tell you is that i set up the device using the web app and then this works flawlessly just like the app is supposed to work so to get started using the web version of the app all you have to do is to click on the link that is provided in the medium post this will bring you to app.myedge.io and then here you'll be greeted with a screen that states with a button below saying get started now when you click on the get started button you would see that there are several ways that you can log in you can log in either using an apple account a google account or with an email address in my case i use i just clicked on google to sign in with my google account and then you get a notification that you have successfully logged in and then also welcome to ata edge at this stage what you're gonna have to do like they say here is to introduce yourself so just put in what username you want to use so in my case i use my username different inspiration hub so the funny thing is that the css of this page seems to be a bit buggy so when you are typing in the text you do not see this because it's a white text on a white background i hope the team would fix this um, css bug and then when you are done just accept the terms and conditions and click on finish and then you will see a new screen where you can click on add device to add your new device now at this step what you're gonna have to do first is like i said you have to plug in the power adapter to the unit to power on the device also with the ethernet cable connected to the device so when i was using the web version of the application i, I didn't see an option to set up using the wireless option because i couldn't configure the device with a wireless and that's why i was forced to use the lan cable and in any case my recommendation if you have a possibility to connect the device to lan would be to connect the device to lan because there you would have the best internet connectivity now to power on the device so initially i press this once and nothing happens it appears that you have to press and hold the device until you see the red lights turning into white and when the device is powering on you would be greeted with an ata edge logo on the led screen and this QR code is what you're going to need to set up the device so in my case i had a few challenges at the beginning because it appears the lan cable that i was using somehow was not working with the device so i had to switch to use the original ethernet cable that came with the device it could be that in your case that would not be the problem but that was actually what happened in my case and i couldn't move further on and then when you have an internet connectivity problem or if the device fails to connect to the internet you would get this red green saying waiting for network so to fix the issue i just needed to press on the power button for a few seconds and then the device powered off and i just switched the lan cable that i had connected to the device i read a lot about it not everyone i mean a lot of people did not experience this problem so it appears to be something that was just unique in my case so now finally i was able to rectify the problem and i saw the qr code on front of the device now what you have to do to just add a device is to click on add device and then you're going to be informed to plug the ethernet cable to the device first to connect it to your network so here i have already done that so i just clicked on continue and then you're going to have to allow the app to be able to use your camera because you're going to use the camera to be able to scan the qr code in front of the led screen on the device to set up the device and then when this is done hooray you basically done with the setup of the device so you see now i have my device with the status saying working so that's how easy it is to set up the 
Ata Edge device. So if everything goes through with the setup, the QR code is going to change. And then what you're now going to have on the LED screen is the Ata logo and a text that is saying working. So that's all that you have to do to set up the device. I mean, it's extremely easy. In a few steps, it should be up and running. If you have any difficulties in setting up the device, or if you have any questions to set up the device, please put us in the comment section, or you can also come to the ATA Discord, and we'll be very, very happy to help you out. Thanks for watching this video. Like the video, subscribe to my channel to see more like this, and see you in the next one. Bye.